Hey y'all. I'm doing a little bit of an update on the inside of Tank just because I have so many new subscribers. Yay, thank y'all. And um, they always ask me for a tour of Tank, which is way, way, way down toward the bottom of when I started making videos. For those of you that wanted to see it, it's entitled, Finally. My caps are not yelling, they are just excited. I keep trying to remember to number these because people have told me it'd make it so much easier and I wholeheartedly agree, but I can't remember to do it. So anyway, here is the front part of tank. That um, magnetic phone tablet holder up there is awesome. I use it all the time. It's very sturdy. My dream catcher was given to me by a co-worker many, many years ago. I loved him dearly. My cup holders are very shallow and very fat. So I had to get that. Um, it's a canvas holder and it sits in there and that solves the problem. Now Hazel likes to ride shotgun always. But when I come back to the back to go to sleep, guess where she wants to be? You guessed it, right in my lap. I use one curtain that's 52 inches wide. It doesn't stretch all the way across, but enough for my purposes. It goes to the end of the headrest right there. Now you'll see that this area, I have some plastic mats. I just super glued those two mats together and hopefully I didn't get any overage onto the carpet. I don't think I did. My seat is turned around. Bill did that for me, the gentleman that I traded uh, for his Class C that did not work out, but he turned my seat around for me. I have to say, y'all, Hazel uses it, but I rarely ever sit there because it causes my sciatica to act up. Okay, now, over here we go. You can see my little philodendron is just doing wonderful. It's in a glass container with just water and it's grown a lot. I took this piece off of Mary Jo's plant. Now you'll see a bunch of stuff up here in this little um, cubby. The reason there's so much up there is because if I take anything out then I'm subject to the rattles. I can't stand that. I hate to hear noise going down the road. It drives me crazy. This little container I got at a dollar store when I was at Quartzsite. That holds plastic silverware. My Christmas cactus, which blooms once a year, and it's beautiful. Mary Jo gave that to me. I store my one burner Awatani stove. It works great. I have some of those little rubber mats right there. It sits in my metal sink and it does not rattle at all. And of course, I make sure that the gas tank is disengaged while I'm traveling. Can't be without oatmeal, you guys. Okay, somebody where Mary Jo's mom lives in the facility gave me this pen. I love ugly and I do. I did a little redecorating of my cabinet doors. You guys can see I used to have flowers there. Then when I was going to sell tank, I peeled them all off. But now I have new ones. It just adds some color and brightness. It's a little juvenile, but ask me if I care. Okay? I'll tell you, hell no, I don't. Never use the refrigerator except for storage. Now this cord that you see running along here connects right there to my cigarette lighter and it's a nine foot cord so it runs all the way to the back. There's a matching container. That's my nightstand. It's got all my medications and little things that I use all the time at night and they're nice and contained so I don't have to look at a bunch of junk. I have a little tablet case right there that my two um, tablets write in. I've got one of them charging in there right now. 
And of course, y'all know Tank has um, window coverings. I wish he had shades that I could just pull down, but uh, we don't know whether we're ever going to get to that or not. And so then, of course, is my footstool that I covered and used for a backrest. I have a gym bag that's hanging off my closet. My clothes, my hanging clothes are in that closet. That's a beach towel that has a, um, what do you call those things? You know, it's the rod that compresses and tension rod. Hello. <laughs> Anyway, the tension rod hooks right up there at the top, and that keeps out a lot of light, keeps out the cold, and it also keeps out the heat, and it was really cheap. There's my little pillow cover that I just love because it was so inexpensive. Now, Tank is in the single bed mode. There's my potty. That's about a three and a half quart. It's, I mean, a three and a half gallon. It's not a five gallon. And I chose it because it slides underneath my bed. There's another tension rod that keeps everything secure while I'm driving down the road. Now, I have another board that goes across here. You can see the brown wood. It sits right on there. And I can actually make a full size bed. But I don't like that. It takes up too much room. And I'm perfectly comfortable on the half bed. And I have, um, let's see, what else? Oh, my little chandelier. I love that thing. And a back scratcher. And this is supposed to be a little black trash can, but I use it for all of Hazel's leashes and collars and things like that, and it works out really well. There's a remote to my little TV that I don't even know if that TV works, y'all. I've never been plugged into shore power. And then, um, pardon the purse, I have a five drawer plastic tower, and I have that bungeed in. Now, there's my trash can, wait a minute, okay. Now these are big cup hooks that I screwed in to bungee to. I was a little worried in the beginning because this one is pretty, it's pretty stiff and it's pretty um, strong. And I was a little worried that it might mess with my wood, but so far it's doing okay. And then we have Hazel's dining area, her food, her water, and that's her water jug by the door. Fits perfectly. Um, let's see, what else? I keep a rug down here. When it's cold, I keep a rug up there as well. But it's been fairly warm. So, y'all, I think that's about it for the inside of Tank. I have a lot of storage. I really don't use the food storage much anymore because I'm urban and I cook at Mary Jo's or I just actually go through the drive through No lectures on food, y'all, okay? When I tell y'all to do something fun today, that is my fun, y'all. Going through the fast food. Anyway, y'all. Thanks a lot for watching, and that's the tour for the newbies, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. You're going to say bye, Hazel? Oh, she's got to lick her feet for an hour or two. <laughs> bye, y'all.